Previously on Trinity Blood Abridged, Abel cries, Abel goes emo, Abel quits. Then the Pope's pedophile uncle shows up for some hot loving. And now, for the thrilling conclusion. So you're saying that if we ring this bell, Rome will be destroyed? I'm saying there's a possibility. Blasphemy! Yes, Francisco. I'll prove that my bell will do nothing by giving a demonstration. Time to use the technique that I learned from watching Ghost in the Shell. See? Nothing happened. Oh, God! Make it stop! Make it stop! Nothing at all. Uh-oh. I think we f***ed up! Whoa, 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 whoa! You practically skipped that entire episode. So? I know to abridge something, you have to shorten it and make it funny. Not break it down into 30 seconds. Well, I'm the announcer, so whatever I say goes. But I didn't even have an announcer until... <sighs> On with the show. That's right, bitch. Game over. But what Katarina has done, I've confined her to her quarters. Wait, that's it? After what she did? You just sent her to her room? What's next? You're gonna send her to bed without supper? Go some nuts, Francisco. Make an example out of her. Put her head on a pike or something. But, Uncle, isn't that a little extreme? I said pike, damn it! Hell yeah! Let's party, people! How could you celebrate at a time like this? Because that bitch is on probation. This is payback for letting me go to prison. Oh, what could we have done? You sodomize a young boy in public. Hey, there is no way to prove that. None so path. Hmm. Is everything set up, Camphor? You know what? For the time we're working together, call me Lust. Wait, what? Why? This episode kind of reminds me of the first one from Full Metal Alchemist. Therefore, I want to reenact it. There is no way in hell I'm going to call myself Father Cornello. Well, your name is already Alphonse, so why not? Cause I'm not a puss in suit of armor, I'm evil, bitch! Hmm? Who are you? And how did you get past Jim? One, you would know I was a Twilight Wolf didn't skip my friggin' episode. And two, I just bribed him with a piece of tinfoil. Anyway, I found this in Barcelona. You mean the silent noise system? So in other words, it's just a giant dog whistle. Uh, I guess so. Father Night Road! <sighs> I thought I would find you here. Emo. I heard about what happened to Noel, and how you two met here. Emo. Father Night Road? Are you listening to me? Emo. Well, I wanted to tell you that Katarina's in danger! She's going to be killed by the uncle! Wait, what? You were at the Vatican. Every member of the AX were in one room. Each member is able to kill a thousand vampires by himself. Why didn't you tell them? The script told me to? So useless. Hmm? Hey, Kyle. What you doing in here? Uncle, for the last time, my name is not Kyle, it's Katerina. Well, I came down here to tell you something. You're getting too close to the truth, and I can't have that. So I'll have to kill you now. Wait, what? Get her, boys. Wait for me! I'm here now. We can finally start the fight. Abel! <laughs> And now, to resume my duty as this series' badass main character. Yarp! My, are we a strong, strapping young man? How would you just shut up? You are not the priest, are you? 
Well, I guess it was fun. While it lasted, nice to meet you. I am Von Kampfer, a member of the Rosenkreutz organization. Uh, yeah, I know. We went over this a week ago in Barcelona, remember? What can I say? I'm a narcissist. Well, I guess it's about that time. Archbishop! Just in time. Now, take a look at my giant purple bees. It's huge! That's what that little boy said. Why is it this walking? Oh god, I'm gonna die. This is it, my moment of glory. I've waited seven episodes for this, and I'm gonna have it. Thank you, you. Oh god, he's speaking English. Katarina, I am to kill you if you refuse to join our side. With that said, I'm going to just skip all that and kill you anyway. But I haven't even given you an answer yet. You're going to refuse anyway, aren't you? Well, yes, but that's besides the point. Let die. Don't worry, my hair will protect us from the attack. Attention, son. Kick his ass. I guess I was wrong. <laughs> Attention, son. You have brought shame to the family hairline. I'm amazed you were able to stand up to my electromagnetic cannon. What? I thought that attack was fire. And I thought they were arrows. I thought they were shiny. Shut up, Jim. And now that you're at your weakest, I'm going to taunt you like any derogatory villain would. And just like the stereotypical shonen anime hero, I'm going to get back up and unleash a hidden power to kick your ass. I don't see this turning out too well. <laughs> Ow. What's going on? Think of all the little boys that are attracted to hard metal music. It appears the priest is playing the system, and the only way to stop it is to kill me. How does that work? The control chip is inside of me. Kill me, and you stop the chip. I can't. I've made a promise never to kill again. Y you what? You made a promise? How stupid can you- Wait a minute. Of course. Why didn't I see it before? You're nothing but a clone of Vash. You both fight with guns. You both wear glasses. Neither of you are human. The only difference between you two is that you're not voiced by Johnny Young Bosch. What did you call me? I'm nothing like him! <laughs> Case in point, you couldn't even bring yourself to kill me. So until the end of this series, I'm going to call you Vash. I told you I was going to have fun torturing you in the later episodes. So for now, goodbye, Vash. <laughs> <sighs> Abel, we've abducted the Archbishop. Abel? Are you there? Guys, I think he passed out again. Oh well. Can we beat up on the old guy now? Wait, what? Why not? <laughs> Abel? Are you okay? If so, get up and get back to work. I hate you so much right now. No way I was going to get cut from this episode. I'm the main villain, and by god, I'm going to have my screen time. We crawl on our knees to you, under the sky not alone, we sweat! No offense, Mr. Herbert, but I'm a 17-year-old girl and I don't need you here. Well, no offense to you, Meg. But you're a 17-year-old girl, and I don't need you here.